So, did you get a note to report here at 7.30? Mine was stuck to the door with a giant hunting knife. Yeah, well, my note said it'd be free booze and pussy. Looking at you two, I'm wondering where the booze is. Hey, man. <laughs> We're not in class, so you don't have to use your clown voice. Well, newsflash, asswipe. This is my real voice. Why the fuck do you think I'm a clown? Oh, jeez, man. Hey, we're all in this together. All of us. Violence is not the answer here. Now, I just say we, we keep cool while we wait. There's, There's no, no need to wait. wait. It, it's show, show time. time. Surprise. Oh. I got a surprise for you. Oh, I could cut a smile into your throat so fast that you'd be dead before you hit the ground. Jesus Christ, buddy, you're a psycho! Yeah, man, what's the deal? Cutting a brother clown is not cool, man! It's not cool! So, are you gonna introduce yourself, big boy? Or just stand around holding your knife? Knife. What knife? By way of introduction, my name is Mysterio the Clown. The three of you, Bobo Big Shoes, Mr. Giggles, and of course, Joan Clownford. Today are to be indoctrinated in the shoes and noses, the ultra secret clown society of McBartleby's Clown College. Gentlemen, welcome to the dark side. <coughs> cool! I knew this was some kind of satanic cult! Oh, master, who shall I kill for our dark lord? You have uttered that which shall not be spoken aloud. <coughs> Shoe and noses exist solely to inflict psychological torture on small children by instilling coolrophobia to fear of clowns. Today's terror is tomorrow's control! You've all heard the expression, everyone loves a clown. It's one of the truest things ever said. Wrong! Studies by Barnum and or Bailey suggest that at least 60% of the world's population hates and fears clowns, with a radical minority that favors instituting clown concentration camps. Well, I say fuck the fucking world and everybody in it. I hate people and their stupid ass kids. That's why I became a clown in the first place. So I could go to their parties, steal their booze and pills, and then take a huge shit right in their dryers. Mr. Giggles, your anger is both a gift oh. and a cry for help. But Mysterio, wouldn't it be easier to just make people love us by making them laugh using our timeless madcap antics? Oh, Bobo Big Shoes, you have much to learn about human nature. Fear, gentlemen. Fear is more powerful than laughter. Once the mind is properly programmed, it will not run from its fear, but seek it out. Why do you think people go to the circus in the first place? Is it because they subconsciously hate and fear clowns? Well, it ain't because they like the smell of elephant shit. <laughs> Now, if you'll follow me, gentlemen, I'll lead you to Cyrus McBartleby's secret crypt. I'm not going. This is evil and sick, and I refuse to be a part of it. I'd reconsider if I were you. Being in shoes and noses guarantees that money, power, and unbridled success will all be yours. But, if you should walk away, well... It would be a shame if you ended up like world-famous clown Bello. Bello was accidentally killed by a runaway iced cream truck. <laughs> yes, that was unfortunate. Especially in front of all those children at the cancer center. Odd. How the cops never figured out who the driver of that truck was. You're a monster! I don't know why 
you ever picked me for this? Don't you? 25 years ago, a down and out rodeo clown, a waitress looking for love and redemption in Davenport, Iowa over a cheap bottle of Ripple? Shh, Joan Clownford. All will be revealed. Come, gentlemen. A brave new world awaits.